Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Austin Reacts. It has been probably a year since I have done a single Elvis reaction. But when I did react to Elvis, I was like, gosh dang, this guy is such an interesting character. He has, I don't know, a lot of charisma about him. I like that kind of stuff. I don't know why I stopped reacting to Elvis. But you know what, maybe start reacting to him today. Like I've seen that there's a new movie about him. So, I mean, I kind of want to see that. I want to see uh, if I like it or not. This is a popular song by him called In the Ghetto. I'm going to see and experience the charisma, the awesomeness, the legendary Elvis Presley. I mean, Elvis Presley has to be one of the most iconic figures of all time. Like, up there with Michael Jackson, uh, Frank Sinatra. I mean, Elvis Presley has to be one of the most iconic figures of all time. He has to be. He just has to be, guys. Okay, all right, guys. Um, I just want to say this. <coughs> oh, gosh, sorry. I just want to say this before uh, I start the video. Um, I am uh, looking for a new job, but I am trying to save money to help pay for uh, the bills here. After my mom passed away, it's been difficult. Um... But I am looking for a job, but I am asking for donation to try and help me save money to help pay for another month to live in this house. Live in this house. If I am able to pay the bills in this house, then I am able to live here. So I'm looking for a job, but I'm also looking to see if anybody out there could help me uh, with donations and just see if anyone can help me. If, if nobody helps me, then that's okay. I'm not... I'm not sitting here and expecting it. I'm just asking and to see if anybody will do it. If you will donate, then I love you and appreciate it. If you don't, I love you and I appreciate you. All right, guys, let's get into some Elvis in the ghetto. Three, two, one. As a snow flies. On a cold and gray Chicago morning, a poor little baby child is born in the ghetto. Oh, wow, I like those lyrics. And his mama cries. But if there's one thing that she don't need, it's another hungry mouth to feed in the ghetto. Wow, so relatable, so freaking relatable. People, don't you understand? The child needs a helping hand. You're going to be an angry young man someday And take a look at you and me Are we too blind to see? Or do we simply turn our heads and look the other way? Wow. Well, the world turns And a hungry little boy with the runny nose Plays in the street as a cold wind blows in the ghetto Damn, dude, I'm like kind of getting emotional here. So he starts to roam the streets at night and he learns how to steal and he learns how to fight in the ghetto. Then one night in desperation, the young man breaks away. He buys a gun, he steals a car, he tries to run, but he don't get far, and his mama cries. As a crowd gathers round, an angry young man face down in the street with a gun in his hand in the ghetto. And as the young man dies. On a cold and gray Chicago morning, another little baby child is born in the ghetto. And his mama cries. Man, what a just relatable song. 
for me, but for a lot of people too. I, I remember growing up, we never had much at all. I mean, my clothes were the same from last year, wearing shoes from the last year, uh, getting new clothes every few years, every three or four years, really. You know, having to your next uh, meal is whether you have, you know, enough food stamps or not. You know, I, I have lived uh, a, a very uh, poor life, actually, but... I respect my mom and I love and appreciate my mom for always making sure we didn't go hungry. Uh, there were there was times where we had to eat peanut butter on bread or we had to make a package of ramen noodles, but she always made sure we had something, whether it be a, a package of crackers, anything. Uh, um, th this song is relatable for a, a lot of ways because. A lot of that stuff does happen where you live in a poor family and then that kid, he has to go out and he's learning how to steal and now he wants to, um, you know, find a way to get money. So he steals a car to try to get money and now he's living a life of crime. He's in a gang. He gets shot and killed and it all spirals from, uh, you know, really growing up and trying to find a way to get money and find a way to feed yourself and sometimes if you don't have a job and sometimes if you don't have a a, a different kind of way you end up doing criminal things um me personally i don't have a, a criminal mind but uh i can see how people do have it so um, everyone's different so some people some people want to do criminal stuff some people want to do legit stuff um I, re I recommend doing legit things. <sighs> um, as far as the song goes, a very angelic, very just kind of um, a, a great song to just kind of mellow out to. A great song just to listen and have visions in your mind this song tells a, a great story um this song is one of those songs that can put you in some different feelings and make you feel sad about things elvis presley looks like a hunk here i did not realize how good looking elvis presley was i mean that's probably why all the ladies liked him i mean elvis presley could have could of had any girl he wanted to back in the day do you guys agree with that is that true i don't know uh i love his style and his sort of um just the way about him the way he just owns the whole room all eyes are locked in on elvis nobody's up using the bathroom nobody's up going to the concession stands every everyone's eyes and ears are focused in on elvis because he draws in your attention just the way he looks, just the way he, you know, kind of uh, is, is the way he walks, the way he talks, the way he dances, the way he sings. You just want to look and just experience and just soak in his kind of, uh, what's that called? His uh, atmosphere? I don't know. Um, anyways, guys, subscribe, like, uh, donate if you want to. I would greatly appreciate it if you guys did, but it's okay if you don't. I still love you. Uh, subscribe though. Please do that. Have a good night. Good take. Good evening. Peace out.